Time to play with some clay. Well, this is a view outside the front window of this building I'm going to be showing in sometime this next week. Um, this is a uh, cost of beef on my uh, temporary turntable there. I'm using a pink bucket to uh, mount that on. And then I've got several of my clays uh, here displayed to uh, see if we can get some orders off of. This building uh, was built in the 1870s. Those uh, timbers up there were uh, hauled down from the forest on ox drawn wagons. And uh, it's an amazing building. These are some photographs that were taken by Ken Hall. Just some of the artwork that's going to be here. They're still bringing stuff in. We were going to open up this weekend, but it looks like it's going to be maybe next week or even just before next weekend. But uh, it's still in setup stage. And uh, that's where I'll be is right in this little corner over here. So that's why I haven't been doing any, any videos the last couple of days is because I've been busy getting ready here so i'm going to i even got a couple of chairs so if somebody wants to sit and watch me work oh there they are they can sit here and observe i'm happy the with with the way it's displayed i got good lighting go ahead paul, okay paul has <laughs> uh, paul had we we didn't do this well you asked me to start talking Paul has these wonderful, what are they, brass? No, they're just tin. Tin, a tin alloy. Uh, uh, roof tiles, I mean ceiling, ceiling tiles. And let me show you, he's gonna show you, I'll talk about it. Yeah, well, we, we did this building and we found them up on the ceiling. This is what it looked like. And this is an old picture from early 1900s and you can see those tiles in the picture up here. This is the old building in the 1900s. Here's another picture here of when it was a general store way back. Anyway, so we got these tiles, took them all down. We're not going to reuse them, so we're selling these. Uh, the, they go, the building was built in 1877, so these are mid-1800 tiles. How many tiles do you have? Probably 250 to 300 of them. Okay, well, I'm not going to give you the price of these on the video, but I, they're going to be here in the show through the month of uh, July here at that in Ennis, Montana. So if you get through here and you have an interest in these, I, I would think you'd probably want to do it as quickly as you can because they are going to go pretty fast. Yeah, they, uh, the good thing you can do is you can sandblast them and then you can paint them the color you want to, you know, straighten them out a little bit. And uh, yeah, they, you can look them up on eBay. You'll get an idea what they cost. So anyway. Paul's the owner of the building, so mounting, I'd, that would be much higher. So you, anyway, go ahead. Uh, now, Paul, you also have something else for sale. Yeah, this big old moose is for sale. Okay, so this moose was shot with a longbow up in uh, Jack's Creek up by Big Sky. Lee Poole shot it. Um, he uh, did it with a longbow, actually. Um, I am selling this moose if anybody's interested in it. It's full body, very good mount, very good mount. Dave will show you, you can just walk around and yeah. video oh. it. All right, that's going to be it for today on the video, and I'm sorry it's not more than that, but there isn't going to be much to do until I get in the, in the uh, building and start sculpting there. Uh, I've got to set up uh, some way of videoing myself sculpting in that building. And uh, instead of doing it in my studio this coming week, I'll be over there working 
uh, in the building. And I probably will be doing that most of next month. So, um, I'll see you next time. I don't know what day. Um, I got to get set up over there, so I'll be sculpting in the, uh, the building. And uh, I just got to set myself up a little bit better uh, so I can video myself working and uh, and light the subject properly. All right. Uh, till next time. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next week. Maybe someday. <laughs> If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.